Hey YouTube, uh, so in the garage today, I'm going to show you how to change out scooter grips. Let's go. If you've got access to a vise, then use it. Uh, you can either put some bits of wood either side of your vise so that you don't scratch things, or uh, in this case I've just wrapped a rag around the top there and then tightened it up. Uh, so first you've got to get rid of the old grips. The easiest way is just to use a box cutter. Um, never pull the box cutter towards yourself because if you slip you could cut yourself so always cut away if your grip has got a stopper like this you're going to have to get that out first uh, you do that just by twisting or uh, banging something against that then you can cut along the grip and then slide it off or cut the grip completely and just roll it off and that's the stopper they're pretty easy to get out so now we're going to cut the grip so uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is clean this um, it could be a bit greasy underneath from where they installed the grips last time. Uh, you can use some rubbing alcohol or just a little bit of degreaser. I'm just going to spray some on a rag here and then um, just clean it off. Um, so this is where the trick comes in. Uh, what you're going to need is just a can of hairspray. Um, we're going to spray that onto the bar and then slip the new grip on. Um, you don't need to go overboard with it, you just um, spray it lightly around as much as you can the top and the bottom and then slip. we're going to slip the new grip on, so I'll show you that now. So if your grip's got a geometric pattern, you want to make sure that the line's all parallel uh, because sometimes when you're twisting it on, you, um, it could um, have it a bit of a bit of an angle there and then it won't look nice. Um, so I've got this line directly across the top so it looks good. Um, the reason why we don't use WD-40 or... Um, <clears throat> so stuff like this is because uh, if you use WD-40 to get it on um, after it's on your grip will actually slip and move around which you don't want you want it to be once it's on you want it to stay on and not move around um, so the hairspray what happens is you spray it on you get the grip on and uh, because the grips at the end here they let a little bit of air in um, so all the hairspray is going to dry up and provide a bit of an adhesive for the grip so that it can't move around. And this one's rock solid already. It's only been on there for about a minute. Just repeat the same with the other side and then you're good to go. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.